Hello, warm and comfy socks. I'm Winter, and this is The Walking Dead. I wanted to go and talk to Amid last time. I said I would do that, but I'm kind of more curious about this first. So let's walk to the train station. All alone? Probably not a bad, uh, a good idea. Can I follow you over there? Oh, you don't like the new girl? I do, but it's like we're a team, like you said. Oh, yeah, that's adorable. All right. Come on. Clementine and I are checking out this train station, all right? Hustle over if you hear anything. Oh. Something is going to happen. Yeah, yeah, I, no, can I go back and talk to a bit? Because I sort of wanted to do that. Please? <laughs> right. Uh, uh, Everton... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you can't see that. Oh, wait, you can. How can you see that from down there? Somebody must have been pretty desperate. How do you see that from down there? It doesn't seem like from that angle you would be able to. Ooh, there's uh, like paint cans. I wonder what they were used for. <laughs> Can you pick them up? That paint has been dry for months. Oh. Oh, then it's unlikely. Where did Clementine go, by the way? Is she back here? Clementine. Well, now I, I missed the guitar. There's... Oh, okay, you're here. And I can't talk to you, but there's a no entry thingy here. I can't move my mouse more to the right. Can I get down here? Okay, okay. There we go. I know how to navigate this. Where are you going? Oh. Cutscene. You should wait for me before trying to open doors. Sorry. Uh, luckily, it's locked. We'll get better at working together. <laughs> we are learning the basics. We need to set up some rules and... Uh, what should I do first? Let's ask her. We'll have to find a way in. To see if there's anything inside, like survivors? Uh, try to open it first. Well, I already knew that, but still... <laughs> Alright, push it. <coughs> push it mm, real good! Oh, Aww, can you use that tool you have with you? No? No? Okay. Well, I don't think I would have helped uh, too much. Uh, a forklift. I learned a new word today! Doesn't look like that thing's worked in years. Uh, so nothing we can use? Alright, never mind. I'll, I'll go back in here. I'll go back in here. Look at a sign. Look at a sign. There could be a clue. No entry. <laughs> Trespassers will be persecuted. Oh. Well then, I'll enter from the other door, because do, those do not have a, a, a sign that... Where is me? Brand new auto parts. I don't need them. How about this? M Maccabe Im imports. M Maccabe. M M Macca Macarena. <laughs> hey, Macarena! Right, uh, every, every, this is the one I was reading before. Ever, tone, and, and what? And Schultz. All the, are all of these like references I'm missing? It's likely. How do I get them from here? So, assuming I want to leave, j just assuming, assuming I, I want to go back the way I came from. Just I in theory. Let us assume for a second here that I want to actually go back to my train. What do I do? Do I need to walk all around this? Really? Well... That's stupid. But there we go. <laughs> and then I realize I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> and I'll like walk all the way across the map and I reach the ocean and I'm like, oh wait, Clementine, we kind of get the wrong way. There, you can go back and talk to the nice person there. <laughs> this is not going to be easy, is it? Oh well. Hello there. Hi, may I join you guys? Can you don't do stupid shit? First things first, let's clarify this. Don't you dare touching anything. I don't know what that does yet. Don't touch it. That. 
I said don't <laughs> touch it, jackass. It's like Ben, just a bit older. Teaching him anything? Trying to. Also, you're busy. Just... The whole thing's pretty simple, really. How could it not be? Oh, okay, you want to talk. Learning the ropes? Learning the ropes? Can't be too hard, right? Uh, there are a lot of levers I can't wait to use. I said if something were to happen to me, maybe we can drive in shifts. We'll see. Yes, this is like, just like a ban. Don't you dare touching anything, like I was saying. How have you guys made it this far? You like Civil War history? I'll you like Civil case. War history, huh? Fuck yeah. What do you know about some Quantrill's raid? Well, it happened about a thousand miles that way. Well, yeah. And we're headed the other way. But if it's somehow not crawling with the dead, there should be some cool things to see. Excellent. Don't tell Krista, though. That won't be as big a selling point for her. You got it. Alright. They just said it. Oh. <laughs> we bonded! How have you two made it this far? <laughs> you seem dangerously normal. The Krista normal? doesn't let us join groups. And I'm a fucking scrapper. What do you mean? I got the feeling she takes care of you. Please. I've saved her ass hundreds, tens, sometimes. Because we are a group of superheroes instead. Huh. How long since you've been home? Like six months. We were on the road for a while and then, you know. That's rough. Yeah, and stuff happened. Cat is gonna be pissed. <laughs> Talk to you later. No, the poor kitty. <laughs> Talk to Teaching Kenny. Teaching him anything? Trying to. Okay. Kenny doesn't want to make any conversation. The poor cat! So what, we, what, what is left to do? I think we can talk to Ben. I should be able to talk to Ben from down here. He doesn't want to talk. Hey Ben. Seen any walkers yet? Got a clear view up there? Yeah, we're good for a ways. Thank God. <laughs> we need someone, anyone. To come along and and exterminate them or something. Exterminate. Oh hey. No oh, shit, Walkers, man. You know sometimes you might see me take care of one because I have to. Don't start thinking they don't horrify me. I'm glad somebody else feels that way. I'm telling you, Lee. If they ever get a hold of me, and I know I'm not getting out of it, that's it, man. I'm just gonna punch my own ticket. Oh. Punch your own ticket? You what? Yeah. Take myself out. Don't be dramatic. Um. Well, I can't understand. Don't let them get a hold of you. <laughs> Especially that. What, you're just gonna leave? Leave. Leave leaving. Well, I can totally understand that. That's scary. But the, the thought of becoming one of them, getting killed by them, is probably... I can't understand why you'd prefer invisible wall, I can't understand why you'd prefer to kill yourself before that happens. But, like Lee said, just don't let them take you. Soon as that thing comes down, we'll be on our way. Yeah. And I hope we won't have any more trouble out of you. I promise you won't. The, the camera is off-centered. <laughs> I was looking at the sky, not at Ben. So you don't want to talk, right? I'm glad someone's managed yeah. to keep the spirit. Maybe, maybe if I talk. I'm glad someone's okay, no, managed to keep the spirit. Okay, no, never mind, never mind. He kept, he kept his spirit and he did. It's good. So, what's left to do? I can't access the back of the train. Use tanker? Um. I don't think that's going to accomplish anything. What, you're gonna climb it? This would create one hell of a fireball if we tried to blast through. Let's do it! <laughs> well, puzzle time! Mm, did they ta talk to Clementine? The, the, that wasn't talking. This you talking. interrogating this woman for us? Oh, yep. yeah, she I did already. set off any alarm bells? Not yet. She's very thorough. That's what I like to hear. Yep, we already had this conversation. Hi, girls. Anything new? Hey. That's a no. <laughs> Hi, girls! And then I'm leaving. Leaving is like my skill. 
I'm pretty sure I already took a good look around here, but let's do it again. Mmm. Mmm. Look this at this. This thing is mangled to hell. No releasing it. No nothing. Could I cut through it, maybe? I don't know. How would you cut? There's no way I'm pulling anything apart down there. Hmm. Cutting, huh? Cutting. Are you going to give me another hint if I look at it again? This thing is mangled to hell. No releasing it. No nothing. Another hint? No hint. Never mind. Hmm. Well, since this is a puzzle moment and this is going to take a while, I may as well talk to you about something. So we can spend the time. Because I've been thinking about something recently. I can't look at the generator anymore. Because I could look at it before. Oh, that's weird. Well, some time ago, there has been a trailer for the video game. And the... The trailer would start from, like, like the camera would slowly zoom out from what you would recognize soon as an eye, a human eye, and then the camera would keep zooming out, and you would realize it was the eye of a girl, then you would realize it was the eye of a very young girl who was dead, and then the, the camera kept zooming out and you would see the entire body of the girl just lying on the ground, and there would be some very sad piano music in the background. And then you would, uh, um, the, the girl would move slightly, it, it, move, it would move in a weird way and then start flying up. And that's when you, oh, I can't leave by, okay, this is slightly better. Um, the, the girl would start flying upward and then you would realize that you're actually watching a clip that has been reversed. And the girl had fallen from a, a skyscraper. And you're watching her go going back simply because the clip has been reversed while this sad music keeps uh, playing in the background. We'll have to find a way in. Yes, we will. And so, uh, mm, there, there are also sometimes small scenes w that instead are not reversed that are kind of like flashbacks where this girl is escaping from zombies hmm. when she was still alive. Uh, and, and slowly, slowly you would piece out what, what's happening while, the, while there are even violence in the background and everything is incredibly sad and you would see uh, that uh, the girl's family was attacked by zombies and they are in a sort of hotel. I have no idea what to do here. And uh, the girl had been beaten by the zombies and then beca it become a, a zombie herself. A lot of painting. And in, in the end, the, when you finally get the entire n narrative, you would realize that uh, the, well, the girl had died because she had the falling off the skyscraper and the par her parents most likely did not make it uh, as well. And there's like a zombie apocalypse going on. And the, the trailer would end with the, you would see uh, a, slow, uh, a short clip. There's nothing I can do here. You would see a short clip of uh, the family when they had just reached that hotel. And they're like all happy and smiling at the camera. And it's like the saddest thing ever. And that was the trailer of a video game. So, uh, and the video game was about a zombie apocalypse. And the game was called Dead Island. So when I, when I watched that, I thought, uh, well, this is genius. Because the trailer was incredibly emotional and the idea of uh, slowly making you understand what you're watching by giving you uh, a video that has been played, that is being played in reverse uh, with this beautiful, beautiful music in the background and some flashbacks that show you what happened before and then ending it uh, like that uh, with the family all happy when they had just gotten there without knowing what would have happened just a couple of hours later. It was incredibly emotional and beautiful and they teared up and everybody was, everybody was really happy to see such a trailer because it would Everybody was expecting a game about a zombie apocalypse that was emotional, that showed all the, all the, 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 something like this. <laughs> There's a zombie apocalypse going on and it's sad and it's scary. It's not just about shooting zombies in the head, but it's a terrible thing. And so you're going to cry and be sad and be mad all and be scared. Power, we're still stuck. I still have no idea what to do. I'm glad someone's managed to keep the spirit. 
Then the game came out. Dead Island was released. And it was the complete opposite of what the trailer had promised. Everybody thought there was going to be a very emotional story, very emotional game. Talk to you later. Talk to you later. Talk to you later. <laughs> I had the two, I'm sorry. Teaching him anything? Trying to. I sincerely don't know what to do. And the game was uh, a sort of an RPG, uh, uh, a first person, person shooter with RPG elements. And it was the most terrible game I've ever had the displeasure of playing. The, the gameplay was bullshit, the quests were st stupid, there was nothing of all that emotional... Em e just emotions and sadness, there was nothing of that. The story was stupid. More it, big shit to move. The game was completely impossible to enjoy if you were playing it in single player. This would create one hell of a fireball if we tried to blast through. It was incredibly glitchy. It had especially visual, visual glitches. With those are not too bad, but it still was bad. It felt like an unfinished, rushed, and stupid game that I, I, I can't. I, I was, but but then there was the fact that it was. I mean, it was a bad. If it was just a bad game, okay. I would be okay with that, but it wasn't just a bad game because the trailer... Ooh, I found a sign! Whatever government work was going on here didn't seem to help. <laughs> Alright, this isn't helping me progress in the game either. It wasn't just a bad game, but it was a, a game that I had set some expectation, not just in me, in most of the people who had watched that trailer, and that expectation was ruined in such an incredible powerful way that I just can't forgive them. I just can't forgive them. I, I would have just I would have just ignored that game be like okay this is bullshit and whatever but no that is, that is not just bullshit. It's also a bullshit that made fun of me and that that, that just pisses me off so much. So uh, all of this just to say that I am so happy this game here, the one I'm playing, exists simply because it's like it's uh, the answer to that. It's the thing I was expecting Dead Island to be, and it totally wasn't. So this is not just a, a good game, but it's also a game I really sort of was waiting for. I'm happy it exists, we'll have to find and I'm a playing way. it, and it's making me sad and scared, and sometimes happy, sometimes crying and sometimes stuck without any idea as to what to do. So I think now that I'm done talking and I haven't made any progress at all, I will just skip this part until I figure out the solution. I can't see in there. Oh, there's a window up here. The window's open up there. Maybe I could look in? There's a friggin' window in there and they have missed it this entire time. The window's open up yeah. there. Yeah, maybe I could look in? Alright, yeah, um, do we need like to... Oh! I can boost! Use the boost to get through! Why don't I put you on my shoulders and you can peek into that window up there? Sounds good. Ugh! Ugh! <laughs> <laughs> okay. I can see in. What do I do now? You tell me what you see. What do you see? Lots of crates and stuff. Maybe we can find the key or figure out a way to knock this door down. Kenny'd probably have me pick the lock, which actually might work now that we have the time. I think I opened it. For real? I think so. <laughs> you don't need to be urban to be able to I'll open a door like that. Point. Are you ready to rock? Let's go. Be careful. Oh, I'm supposed to tell you that. My game just saved. So something bad is going to happen now. Oh well. There's going to be some action. God damn, it's dark in here. Maybe I can hold the door open? Oh, yes. I don't like that. Oh. I'll prop it open with something.
Um, why do I have a time limit? Oh, oh, maybe if I didn't do that immediately, like a zombie would jump on me. Wish that thing was in my hands instead of over there. Oh, it's too dark otherwise. Um, this worries me. How we doing? Good. What do we need? Something to help us deal with the tanker out there. I wish the camera was here instead of here so I can see there. So what's this? There's gotta be something useful in here. Alright, so there is something here. It's not exactly useful, but it's something I would look at. And I can't. I guess uh, uh, blood stains do not, uh, do not uh, get your attention anymore. Hmm. Look at the cage door. It's locked up good, but there's some space at the top. We're lucky I'm so little. There uh, we are. Wait for it. Wait, wait, wait. First, we need to take a look. They didn't have much business back then. All right. That's exactly what we need. Over there? Yeah. We need to get in there and get that blowtorch. Mm. Well, I guess that could work. What's that? Ooh, keys. There are keys over there. For the gate? I hope so. And there's only one. Why did you say keys when it's only one? Well... <laughs> Can't reach them from here. You didn't need to stick your arm in there to realize. It's like three meters away. Of course locked it's going to be locked. Uh, right, Clementine. But... Be careful, okay? Use the you moves okay to get going through. over the top of this fence? Yeah, definitely. The keys are on the opposite wall. Grab them and let's get this gate open. But do it real quick. Oh, an RS save point? Go on and grab the keys, Clem. Immediately. Come on. Oh, scoot. Turn around! Turn around! Behind you! Alright, I don't have a weapon. Oh, I do. Ooh, 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 oops. Oh, I see. The, 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 the. Uh, what? what? <laughs> Pressing W to move backwards is pretty weird. I was trying ass instead. We can do it. Oh, 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 freak. Right. Aha, I've done it. I kind of screamed in Italian back there. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Everything's fine. Oh, I'm glad you wanted to help me. But I dealt with it. Oh, never mind. Turn around. Keys now. Ah, that was that was evil. I didn't mess God up. Damn. That didn't go so good. No. What? It did not go so good. It was perfect. We're okay. Everything's okay. I didn't mess anything up. What's going on? I thought I heard a gunshot. We're fine. A gunshot. Hello there. Uh, zombies around. We found some walkers. I, I don't think you should scratch your you head with your gun. Year old versus three of them, huh? Yes, I did everything. Wh what? What? What's the problem? It was stupid. You think? What do you want me to say? I'm trying to teach her how to take care of herself. No. We're getting used to working together. I would love to. I'm going to go make sure the noise didn't cause us any problems. I would have loved to idea. bring someone else, but I so the game sort of didn't give me a, a chance. I mean, I took Clementine. You were with her. Why didn't you come? I hope you know what you're doing with her. You can you 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 just Me too. You just For her sake. You just let her go and then you come back and say And you come back and say, Oh you were alone. Well I did what like I uh, I hate you as well. 
Oh well, we will explore this place here next time. Won't we, Clementine? Don't be sad, it's all her fault. It's all her fault. She just like sat there, be like, oh yeah, sure, they're going there. And then, then she follows us and, and is like, well, why did you go alone? Ah! 